What up YouTube, Mr. Mac here. Welcome back to the Mac Shack for another episode in our Lynx FC Football Manager 2020 Road to Glory. And we are here uh, on the eve of a huge showdown game against Lincoln Red Imps in the Primera Division or the National League as it's now called. Um, you can see from our schedule since we last saw you, we've had a 2-0 win against Kelvin Morgan. Uh, against Kelvin Morgan. We've had a 2-0 win against Europa Point. We've had a 2-1 win against Gibraltar Lions with Valdivia back from injury. We've also had a 4-1 win over Boca Juniors, and we are therefore first place in the Gibraltar National League. This is still the first half of the season. As you can see, we haven't had that split yet. So we have uh, another six games to play, I believe. Um, we're going to be taking on Lincoln Red Imps today. And then probably you will see us again for the game against Manchester 62 FC, the final game of the, um, the first half of the season. Uh, without further ado, I think we're just going to head straight to the fixtures here. Um, you can see Lincoln Red Imps have never beaten us. Hopefully we can keep that trend alive. We're going 4-4-2. We've got Morgan and Valdivia up front. We've got Galliano, Clinton, De Los Santos, and Parity through the middle. Jolly and Power as our central defenders. And then Bozio and Bouty, uh, left and right wing backs with Bradley Bandit in goal. Um, let's, yeah. Let's get straight into the match. So, here we go. Dressing room. We're going to say, boys, I want you to pick up where we left off last time out. Yeah? I've got faith in all of you, I believe that you can do this. There we go. Love a line full of green there. Both teams come into this one on good form. How do you rate your chances? They're a good team. We're going to keep our challenge going. How much of a boost is Kike's absence? Look, the 22 players on the park are going to determine the results. So let's get straight into this. Lynx FC in gold. Lincoln Red Imps in red. Um, no surprises there. We have hit the ground running. I'm not sure why we're playing positive. I'm going to put that back to cautious. I'm going to say demand more. Here we go. Bouty with a throw to Valdivia. Curls the cross in. Galliano hits the crossbar. Great start for us here. Really, really promising. All of the players are looking focused after their feedback now as well. Having said that, Lincoln Redems have just had some feedback too, and they're looking really positive. Um, some great players coming through. Uh, or being transferred into Lincoln Redims. Obviously, they have a, a lot of money on offer here. Uh, Ethan Brito, I believe, crossing it into the far post. Bradley Bander with a brilliant save, holding the ball there on the dive. And we are still nil-nil, 30 minutes in. Unfortunately, not a great uh, goal kick by Bander. Plays out to Negrete on the wing. Negrete dribbles inside the box, crosses in. Off the crossbar. Okay. We are very, very lucky to still be on terms here. Negrete with the corner. Brad Power gets up to head it away. Um, and Galliano gets in front of the Lincoln Red Imps player there to break up the attack. We're going to close down Ethan Brito while we go on the attack down the left. Galliano can't do anything with it. To make that change as well, I'm going to say, no, nope, can't do anything with the boys here. So Bandera now bringing the ball forward for Lincoln Red Imps. Turns and plays it backwards to Mateo. And Mateo plays it inside now. Christian with the ball. From outside the box, Medina hits it. Powerful strike, but uh, not going to get the job done there. Another Lincoln Red Imps highlight. I wish his name was Alberto Del Rio, but I don't think it is. Ethan Brito with a long ball through to Del Rio, who continued his run. He's one on one. Brad Bander gets in front of it, and Bouty cleans up the scraps, plays to parity, does a little one two with power, and then clears it. We are really struggling here to get on the ball. Uh, I'm going to go defensive because they. I, I just want to have some. Possession and Julian Del Rio scores for Lincoln Red Imps. Four minutes out from half time. 
I'm going to tell the boys to show some passion here and see if, yeah, that's going to fire them up. I don't think it's going to help. <clears throat> Another chance for Lincoln Redims. Bouty breaks it up and we get it away to Kelvin Morgan, who tries to go past Marquez but cannot get the job done. And the highlight is over. We have played very poorly here. Yeah. And we're going to tell them that. We're going to say, guys, look, this is not good enough. Okay, we need to step it up. We need to improve. So we're going to actually go to positive here. We're going to demand more. Because what we don't want is we don't want our big winning streak to get broken by Lincoln Redims. 60 minutes gone now. Time to go very attacking. Possibly even time to make a sub with 65 minutes gone now. Leon Clinton hasn't played well, neither has Sean De Los Santos in the middle. Bouty's had a poor game on the right, so we're going to bring in Jamie Serra for Bouty, and we're going to bring in Avellano for Clinton here because Avellano, or Avellano is going to play centre midfield attack now instead of Mazzala. We're going to demand more from the boys as Lincoln get another highlight here. But we managed to clear it. Galliano plays a long ball through to Valdivia. Valdivia, just a sneaky little dink for Kelvin Morgan. And he hits it left-footed wide of the post. It's not enough. 20 minutes to play. We can't, uh, can't do anything more in the way of team talks. So that's going to be a penalty for Medina off the Galliano push. This could be the final nail in our coffin here if this one goes in. Bandera steps up, Bander goes the right way, but Bandera gets the job done. And this really is just showing what a force Lincoln Redimps are going to be this season. It is going to be so tough for us to get on top of them. Um, we really dislike this. We really dislike this. 10 minutes to play. Just a, a consolation goal. Parity, Valdivia, that's a start. That's a great start. And a vital goal. Okay, I want to demand more from these boys straight away. Just Valdivia perfectly on the head. Dodges the man on the line. Dodges the outstretched arm of the keeper. We need another chance here, boys. Come on. We're not going to get it, are we? We are not going to get it. 1-2. That is our first loss. You can see Lincoln Redimps have dropped points. They had a draw. Um, I can't remember who they drew with, but tough result to take. Boys, we gave up a penalty. Um, really not good. Really not good. I'm going to say, look, you're unlucky. I don't want to be too hard on them because we're not expected to win the league this season. Um, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to get the money and, and, you know, all that jazz. It's a long season, though. We've still got plenty of time. We're clear, at least for now. Um... We lose top spot. Clinton apparently could do with a bit of a rest, which is fine. We can give him that. We lose after 15 in a row unbeaten, stretching back to February. And that does hurt a little bit. But, but, we've got time. So, I'm going to do that press conference off camera. And then I think you're going to see us again. Oof. Um... St. Joseph's or Manchester 62 are probably going to be the game to come back for. St. Joseph's a third, Manchester 62 a fifth. So we'll, we'll come back for one of those two games. We may even come back for both of those games. Um, stay tuned, uh, and I will see you shortly. All right, we're back. And I tell you what, simulate well, not simulating, but playing through... Four entire months of Football Manager is pretty, pretty serious uh, dr drudge, drudgery, something like that. It's, it's not a great deal of fun. As you can see here, coming off of our 2-1 loss against Lincoln Red Imps, we picked up a 4-1 uh, win over College 75. Kelvin Morgan uh, with a goal, Valdivia with two, Brad Power getting on the score sheet as well. Kelvin Morgan also scored against Mons Calpe. 
Then we played, we had like three weeks off and we played Magpies in December. Uh, we had a 3-0 win there. Valdivia Avalano getting on the scoreboard. Then we had like 40 days of nothing, except the board sort of kept it interesting because if we go to our club uh, setting here, the owner status will listen to offers. We actually had a consortium lined up. We had a transfer embargo set. Um, they were going to sell us and, and one group was threatening to replace us as manager um, if their bid was accepted. Now, that no one managed to um, come to a successful agreement. So we're not, um, we're not being taken over, thankfully. We're still uh, working. We've signed a new contract, um, or I believe we're in the process of signing a new contract. You can see we've got our youth facilities, training facilities are happening, professional status is happening as well. Um, and we're gonna be making one small change to the lineup ahead of this next game. We are going to be bringing in Den Denilson Carvalho, who is a Brazilian player. Uh, ooh, ooh, I've got way too many uh, midfielders now. I wanna put Bailey in and I think, ooh, we take victory out and we put Citor in. So Denilson Carvalho, Brazilian player, trained in England, Came from Arsenal, and you can see some of his stats there. Uh, 12 long shots, 11 technique, 9 passing, 10 decisions. Some decent physicals on him as well. Uh, not great in the air, but that's okay. Uh, he's only 22. So this will be his debut. He played. Uh, he came on trial with us for about four weeks. Played four games, I think. In the reserves, five games in the intermediate league, scored two goals, got three assists. I was like, oh, we're having some more of that. Thank you. So uh, that's going to make up our team. Yes, it looks a little bit dodgy in the middle of the park here. I'm not sure whether I take one of Morgan or Valdivia out and we actually play a four, almost a four, five, one. Uh, you can see we're starting to get some really good partnerships happening on our wings between our wing backs and our wingers. So we really want to make sure we keep that going. Um, match fitness obviously being a bit of an issue at the moment because the players haven't really been playing. Um, I've tried to give them games in the reserves where they've had opportunities to play in the reserves. So that's been a positive. Um, but yeah, we're, we really want to make sure that we do get the win here. Um, the league is very, very tight at the top. Um, so yeah, look, I think it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. As you can see here, a, a draw here would see us hold on to top spot with 25. Lincoln Redimps having played one less game are on 23. St. Joseph's on 22 points. So it's very tight. That top four Manchester 62 FC rounds it out with 19. Close Europa on 14. Mons Cafe 12 is the end of the top six. Kelvin Morgan here lofting a ball through to Valdivia. And the one-on-one -on -one doesn't go his way, which is unfortunate. We're going to demand more. I think, oh no, here we go. Denilson Carvalho with a free kick. Curls it in to Ethan Jolly and it flashes past the post. And great involvement already from Denilson Carvalho. Uh... Uh, midfield not looking the fittest here right now. They have been playing quite a bit with the reserves, I believe, to try and keep their match fitness up, but it looks like it hasn't worked that way. Um, but that's okay. Bauti turns the ball over here, plays it inside to De Los Santos. De Los Santos to Carvalho to Parody. Jaden Parody now with the ball, cuts inside, takes a shot. And it is saved nicely there by the St. Joseph's goalkeeper. We curl it in and Robber just plucks it out of the air. Can't do anything about that. So half an hour gone now. Uh, we are still nil-nil. We've got another chance here. Bouty looking for the... That was really disappointing. Um, <laughs> just throws it straight to the opposition team. I didn't realize that Royal Blue and Black were so close in color. Alex Quilo playing back to his goalkeeper. 
Robert now with the ball at his feet. He's going to wait and see what happens. We almost get on top of the ball. Graham Tarilla there plays it to Joseph Cipollina. Cipollina uh, with a right-footed ball across the pitch. Jamie Bozio gets on top of that. Bozio plays to Parody, who heads it to Valdivia, who now curls one in. Galliano scores his seventh of the season. Craig Galliano puts Lynx FC one goal to the good here after 34 minutes, his seventh, as I said, of the season. Beautiful curling deep cross and just gets enough on it to beat Robert at the near post. The lad just about concussed himself on the frame of the goal there, I believe. Impressive start for us, nine shots uh, to two now. We are working quite hard, one clear-cut chance. Pretty happy with that with 45% possession. So we're going to say don't get complacent out there and then just encourage the players so they forget about how stressed they are, hopefully. We'll go start second half. We're going to go cautious here and work to, to do something on the break if we can. Jaden Parody here sending a hanging ball over and Jamie Robert manages to pluck it out of the air. Looks to start a counter-attack, but it only gets as far as Denilson Carvalho, who plays it back to Bouty, who kicks it away to Cipollina. And Cipollina is now bringing the ball down the wing. Plays it to Domingo, 1-2. Kicks it straight into the Lynx FC defence, and Valdivia claims the ball and plays it up to Kelvin Morgan. He's been quiet on the goal-scoring front lately, has Kelvin Morgan. But he's going to turn it over to Galliano, who's going to cross it into Valdivia. Misses the first attempt. Kelvin Morgan, I've just said he's been quiet. And he scored his 13th of the season. It was not a pretty goal. But at this point in time, it doesn't have to be a pretty goal. Now, as you can see, we are struggling here a little bit. So we're going to make some subs. We're going to bring Tyrone Avellano in for um, Sean De Los Santos. We're also going to bring in Leon Clinton for Jaden Parody on the right. Um, Denilson Carvalho, unfortunately, has been quite disappointing at this point in time. I'm hoping that that's going to turn around in the next 40 minutes or so. Um, oops, I did not want to access the stats there. I wanted to say, boys, give me some more here. Give me some more. Um... I'm not really getting it, but that's okay. We're at 70 minutes now, so show some passion here, lads. Galato a 5.9. He's clearly not had a good game. Uh, they're now fired up by the feedback as we go into the last 10 minutes. Demand more. See if you can give me something here, boys. We'll go attacking. Probably not going to get anything out of that, which is fine. 93 minutes. Game done. Clean sheet by Bradley Bander has ensured that the goalkeeper has now played 317 consecutive minutes without conceding. Uh, a few other milestones there for St. Joseph's. We are inside the transfer window. We haven't made any interesting transfers other than Desnielsen uh, Carvalho. So nothing really to worry about there. But we strengthen our claim at the top of the table here. Of course, this is only really relevant in determining the top six and the bottom six. These points do carry on, so we want to be as high up as we can be uh, with only one game left. So, as you can see, if we go to our schedule here, in about a month's time, no, in about a week's time, sorry, we're going to be back to take on Manchester 62 FC, who are currently sitting fourth in the uh, National League. So, I will see you back very soon. Welcome back. It has been a week and we are here just looking at the state of play on the final day. So you can see this is the final day before the league splits into the top half and the bottom half. And we play in the first fixture. So unfortunately, we're going to have to stick around for a little bit after the match just to see what happens with the rest of the league. And there are some big things that could potentially happen here. Now, Lynx and Lincoln are clearly at the top here, um, 27, 26 points respectively. St. Joseph's and Manchester 62 are quite close to each other as well, 21 and 19 points there. 
Hopefully we can get the win over Manchester 62 who we're playing and take 30 points from our first 11 games. That would be a really great start and uh, would hold us in a really good position going forwards. Now the really interesting part comes along here. College Europa, one of the perennially one of the strongest teams in Gibraltar, are currently sitting on the edge of missing the top six and being out of contention for the title for this season. They're 13 points behind us. They're going to find it quite hard to catch up anyway, but they are just really in struggle town here. They play St. Joseph's FC, so it's by no means an easy game for them. And Magpies, who are just one point behind them, play Europa Point. So we could see College Europa being the first big name to miss out with this cut in the season happening um, at the halfway stage. Now, we're going to go out with this squad again. Oh, we have picked up, sorry, how remiss of me. We picked up Marcel Elva Fontaine from Reading on loan. You can see Determination 17, um, quite a good defender, very similar to Bouty, except for the fact he's eight years younger. So I'm thinking if we can make some good stuff here on loan, make a good impression for him. We may actually be able to bring him in next season as a replacement for Bouty. If we just check his information here, you'll see he is currently eligible for England only, but he has not played any youth games. So in 730 days or 723 days, we could potentially have him playing for Gibraltar. Valdivia is lacking in match sharpness. That's fine. We can adjust that as we need to. Um, we're going to pop the number 45 onto Elva Fontaine. And we are going to get into this. So this is the last game of the first half of the season. Um, Valdivia has got 10 goals in 12. I'm just going to say, look... Um, go out there and carry straight on where you finish the last match. I'm hoping for another clean sheet here from Bradley Bander. He has progressively moved to be one of the worst players in our team relative to the rest of the squad that we've managed to get together. The fact that we can get someone from Reading on loan is also really, really positive for us too. Um, oh, look, I've got really good players. Sean De Los Santos, certainly hope he keeps the form going. Um, are you happy with Marcelo Fontaine's performances at fullback? I've never seen him play before. Um, I'd be silly to make a change for the sake of it. I guess he can be pretty versatile, clearly. Um, I've picked a team and a tactical style that gives us the best chance of winning. All right, let's kick off this match. I think I'm going to drop to cautious just straight away here. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll change to that short passing play. We've got ourselves a free kick here and it's Valdivia to take it. Ooh, a very nice little curling effort there and Jalen Hankins gets up and touches it wide. I think it may have been going wide anyway. Jaden Parody with the cross in, Brad Power gets taken down from behind by Ballantyne. That's gonna be a, no, just a warning. Thought he might have been getting a card there, but this time Denilson Carvalho going to curl it in with his left foot, looking for the head of someone, but we get nothing out of it. Okay, we keep moving. Elva Fontaine there with the throw to Parity. Back to Elva Fontaine. He chips it over to Valdivia, who gets the run of Parity. Parity crosses into Kelvin Morgan. Kelvin Morgan, Mr. Consistent, steps up and delivers. 15 minutes in. Jaden Parody has really made the right wing his own so far this season, and he is playing exceptionally well out there, just racking up the crosses. Morgan, brilliant finish, brilliant attempt there, and Lynx FC, one goal to the good. Now, realistically, as Denilson Carvalho curls in another one for Kelvin Morgan, and he's got two goals in three minutes. Jalen Hankins missed... Here's punch. Kelvin Morgan slots it home. To Nielsen Carvalho, much better effort so far today than what we saw in his debut game. Uh, he's ticking over at a 6.9 right now with one assist. We are 
doing really, really well. Um, yeah, obviously this result doesn't really mean anything except it gives us points in the bank that we can use um, in the second half of the season when we do play these stronger teams. Now, Manchester 62 FC will be a team that will play twice more because they have guaranteed themselves a spot in the top half. Uh, we also play St. Joseph's twice. We'll play Lincoln Red Imps twice. Ooh, and Pereira just skips past Alba Fontaine there. But Pereira's bullet of a shot does not hit the target, thankfully. We're going into half time here. Two goals to the good. Only four shots, but three of those four on target. A much lower amount of fouls, which is fantastic. I just want to see the boys keep doing what they're doing. And uh, let's keep focused here. We have Jaden Parody again with a throw. Plays a 1 2 with Kelvin Morgan. Parody curls it into Valdivia, who was well offside. He's celebrating like he was onside, but everyone knows he was off. Uh, as you can see there, he just starts his run probably two steps too early. And uh, does get beaten by the offside track there. All right, 56 minutes gone. We're going to make a couple of subs. We're going to bring Clinton on for um, Sean De Los Santos. We're going to also bring in Isaac Vinay for Craig Galliano, who's not had a great game. And uh, I think the last thing that we're going to do is we're then going to go into the tactics and we'll put Avellano in the midfield and we'll go to a 4 4 1 1. Leaving, leaving Carvalho uh, as an attacking midfielder and probably taking out Valdivia, who has not had the best of games for us. An hour gone now, and we do expect a bit more from our team. Valdivia goes out to close down. I'm not sure why the keeper is delaying there. Jalen Hankins just doing some strange things. Elva Fontaine with a chip pass looking for Kelvin Morgan, can't find the target. Pereira now with the ball, crosses to Garcia who hits the volley from outside the box and it is not on target. Uh, 65 minutes gone, we're going to go into our tactics here and we're gonna make some player moves. We're gonna bring Valdivia back to the middle of the park, push Clinton across. Clinton is going to play as a Mazala on attack. Morgan's going to come into the middle of the park there. And then we are going to swap in Avellano as a center midfield on attack as well. And we're going to see how that goes for the last 20 minutes as we ask the boys to show some passion. We'll push them on to positive. We'll see if we can get another one in the goal tally. You can see Manchester 62 really have stuck with us here other than those two quite good goals early on. Um, I don't think we're going to get another highlight. We are not. 2-0 win. 407 minutes now without conceding for Bradley Bender, which is fantastic. Uh, Elva Fontaine has made his first ever appearance. Brad Powers made his 100th appearance. Um, some good stuff. Some good stuff there in front of almost 1,900 fans. So also some good gate receipts, I would say. I'm pleased with the results and your performance. But now... Really, Elva Fontaine makes professional debut. Morgan on form will say, well done, Mr. Morgan. You were superb. You won us the game because you did. We've won five games in a row, kept four consecutive clean sheets now as well, which is great. We might, well, I'd love to do some more, uh, more negotiations. Yeah, let's do it. Can I make you, how do I get you on a part-time contract? Because I'm not exactly sure why you won't let me do that. We're going to be professional soon. What's he on currently? Existing contract. He's on 400. Okay. Well, hello. Current offer. If you just want me to say 400 for you again, then I'm happy to do that. No worries. We'll do this press conference because we have to do this press conference. And then we'll have a look at how the other games have gone uh, towards the end of the season. Yes. I'm delighted with the result. The lads were great. Um, how do you think your comments? Uh, I don't think they had an impact at all. That's fine. How much of an impact do you think the officials had? Don't think they had any impact. There was a disallowed goal that arguably should have stood. The referee made the correct call. Um, a fundamental part of our game plan with crosses. Lowest 
yeah, we're clean, we're great, we're good, we're fantastic players and just good people as well. I think that's really important. Um, we also work really hard. And, you know, playing at home, we want to win our points. Every game's at home when you play at the Victoria Stadium. So that's great. Jaden Parody has been in scintillating form. 7.6 rating over his last five. Six assists so far this season. He's been magnificent. All right. So now this is where it gets interesting. Lincoln Red Imps, as expected, defeat Boca Juniors. College Europa's destiny is in their own hands, really. They do enough. They get the win against St. Joseph's, and that will keep them in the top six. Yes, they can't get overtaken here, but Mons Calpe potentially could get overtaken um, by... Mons Calpe could get overtaken by... Oh, okay. Never mind. Europa Point's going to get a 3-0 win over Magpies, and everything that we talked about has just disappeared. Um, nothing, nothing is as it was. Everything will remain the same. We'll see Mons Calpe, College Europa, Manchester 62, St. Joseph's FC, Lincoln Red Imps, and Lynx FC forming the top six um, in the Gibraltar National League Group 1 for this season. Um, Morgan finds a way. What a legend. So I'm going to just give us enough time to see what the next or what the fixtures are going to be because I believe there'll be some fixtures this weekend, hopefully. Um, as I skip forwards, yes, we've got to get through this game even though it makes no difference as to who's top and who's bottom. The big solid line has been drawn now. So we have some schedule changes. We've got some games coming up. All right, let's have a look at what we want to do here. Packham will finish scouting him. He's not great. We'll just acknowledge him. That sounds good. Okay, let's have a look at our schedule. So we have Manchester 62, then College Europa, Lincoln Red Imps. They're probably going to be the next two games that we come back for. Um, and then, or oh, we play them back to back again in April. And then maybe final day against St. Joseph's. We may go three games in an episode again. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so we will be back for the 19th of February game against College Europa to see how we go. Um, there's no point playing another game against Manchester 62 FC. So we will see you back there for that. We've gone to group one now. We're looking for a top half finish thank you so much for watching please leave a like if you have enjoyed the video and um yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button as well we have football manager coming out every friday um i look forward to seeing you then thanks very much and i will speak to you soon